from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's like us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Josie, you're on with your professor. Hello. Hi, Tom. I love your show. Thank you, Josie. Um, okay, well, I have a quick question for you. And don't get defensive on me because I know I've been listening long enough to know that you get a little defensive when people ask questions about Darling, your I don't get defensive about my family. I'll answer any question you have. Okay, well, uh, my only question is, what is your brother doing for Valentine's Day? Well, first of all, my brother is married. And the people I'm talking to on this program are dating. Yeah, but then... I don't give married... No, wait, 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 wait. I don't want you starting start to say I'm defensive here. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want you saying I'm defensive. You have to let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. My advice is for people who are dating. Yeah, I, as I, I have that. said on the show many times, my advice is not on how to fix or improve a marriage. It's on dating. Mm -hmm. My brother is married. Well, I, I am not. Well, I'm, I I'm not, and neither are my listeners. My yeah. students are dating. Yes. But you always talk about, you know, people shouldn't get married. I mean, didn't you give your brother that advice before he went and yes. got married? Yes, I did. Yeah. What did he say? But he he uh, voted with his feet right down the aisle. <laughs> All right, that's great. Well, I just, I just, my only question, I just want to know what your brother was doing for Valentine's Day. I'm sure he's got a lot of money uh, being spent because he's married. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, well, take me out with the bong rip. Here you go, darling. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's like it's one oh one. It's Kim with your professor. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um. Well, well I was just talking because you know, um, I have two uh, older boys, and I'm sorry to say one of them passed away. And he was eighteen, but um, I was raising them both. With I was married. Then I got a younger one, but my ex husband. This one for the younger one, he doesn't want to pay child support. I I hear bashing about child support a lot, but I had given him the opportunity to put the baby for adoption and be in a better home, and he denied that. And now that I kept him, now I seem like I'm getting stuck with the all, all the hardship, and that's where I kind of think it's not fair. Well, but you have legal rights. He owes you child support if he has a job. And uh, I'm sure you'll enforce your legal rights. Yeah, but the way you make it sound sometimes, I was just wondering, like, how come it's wrong sometimes for women to go after the, you know, because it's hard to get them up every morning and make their lunch and, you know. Well, that has nothing to do. The, the, the child support is supposed to be for children. This is not exactly. a re This is not supposed to be a reward for you because it's hard to get up in the morning. Well, it's hard because... It's something that they don't have to do. You volunteered. Do you volunteered for this. Well, no, I actually didn't. You I had was... the right to choose, and you didn't exercise it. Well, I don't know about that one. Yeah, no, I no, kind of, darling, it's I, a, it's I a legal it fact. A, you had the right life. to choose. <laughs> well, but you had the right to choose. Well, remember, we're always trying to do what's right for the baby, not for what our... Again, is. you had the right to choose, and you didn't exactly, choose. Exactly. We have so right that means you chose to have a baby. We have the right to choose what's best for... No, no, you have the right to... No, no, you have the right to choose what's best for you. 
Okay, so when somebody decides, okay, like, okay, let me ask you something. So when you sign a contract or you shake somebody's hand and you rig on it, is that all right? This has nothing to do with signing a contract. We're talking about well, no, whether no, you I'm, have a baby. I'm not asking about that. This has I'm nothing saying, to do with contract signing. When you say... I'm having a baby is not like signing a contract. Word. It has nothing in common with signing word. a contract. Nothing. If you give somebody your word and you shake on it and you're like, again, my word, because I'm a You kid. have a right to get and child support by going to family court, and I'm sure well, you will. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. I so know. so then why are you whining about it? Just that's You know what? I, I'm a man. I'm a... Th- all right, let's fix this. You have a problem. Go to family court and make him pay and be done with it. Well, yeah, it's not just about making pay, though. It's not even. No, you want to make him pay by him having to listen to the sound of your voice. That's the word. Again, no, who cares? It doesn't matter. You have a you have recourse. You can make him pay child support. So go do it, and then stop talking about it (laughs) because it's insufferable. Well, yeah, I know. You're, I know what you're saying. I mean, you, you are like so many women that you confuse child support with this big soap opera and all this drama. You know what? You agreed to have a baby, which you had every right to not have. You had every right to prevent the pregnancy. You also had every right to have an abortion. You chose neither. So then because you I don't believe in abortion. Fine, and fine. So you, you you but you do believe in fornication. So you went out, and you had well, a baby. The thing is, oh yeah, definitely, I do believe in fornication, but but not but abortion. Just, I'm just trying to kind of like I'm I'm just trying to like because it's well whatever. I know I know men. You know they have the right to like either pay or not to pay whatever. Right. But you know it's a little bit. It's not just about like when you I hear you talking. You're like always saying like oh women just want the money. They want the doll. It's not about that. You know you got to buy. Uh, uh, you know, chonies for the baby. You got to buy daycare. You got to buy milk, and it's not all about. That. So you know, go get not, your money. money. So go claim your money. Well, yeah, well. Which you will. I don't really. I actually make more than he does, so I don't need to claim it. But it's, well, it's, it's, why? Why are you? Why are you procreating with losers? Um, I don't think he's a loser. Oh, I think you don't he just think makes he's a, a little bit less money than I do. Makes less money than that you do. Like makes less money than you do. Doesn't if I made it, if I doesn't made want to pay money, child support, <laughs> and you complain that he doesn't want to pay child support. So <laughs> why do you why do you have why do you have why do you why do you procreate with a manifestly irresponsible person? More than you did, I wouldn't call you a Why again? Why do you procreate with a manifestly irresponsible person? And I'm going to tell you why. Because the sex was great, and that's why you did. Actually, it wasn't. Right, so then, then tell me why. I think because I don't know. <laughs> That's the one question. Well, I hey, know. darling, I think you got. I think you got problems. <laughs> you. Yeah, I probably do. But you yeah. know, it's not. It's not been an ongoing problem. But yeah, that. that no, no, was you've got an ongoing. Problem. I can hear the problem. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, all right. It was so beautiful talking to you. Sure, it was. Imagine the guy doesn't want anything to do with her anymore. Why do you think that might have been? Holy cow. Gotta buy chonies for the baby. Mm. You know what chonies are? You gotta date a Mexican, Gary. Gotta do it. Then you would know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Tom? you the man. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> uh, first time caller. I just started listening to your show since I moved out here from New York. And, uh, uh, ten seconds it took him to say he's from New York. Notice every caller yeah, from... because New Yorkers say that, right? <laughs> they, well, yeah, because they think the rest of us are impressed, which no. we're not. No, I'm actually originally from California, but I moved out there for years. But anyway, yeah. But why? Why don't people from, let's say, uh, Louisiana call in and say, "I just got out here from Louisiana"? Would you be proud from if you were from? That's Louisiana? my point. So you've got that. <laughs> you've got that New York annoying arrogance, that, which is the reason the rest of the country hates New York and New Yorkers. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't. I don't really like it there either. It's too cold. And it's, it's not good. And it's full of New Yorkers. Yeah, it's true. They're they're arrogant people and they're angry all the time. Always ready to fight you. But anyway, yeah. I wanted to ask you a question. Earlier, I've been you're hard to get a hold of, by the way. Well, what, nobody wants to eat at an empty restaurant, Mike. <laughs> but um, You want to get right through? Uh, you, you call over to any sports talk radio. Say, call ESPN Radio right now. You'll get right on the air. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, or KLAC. Call them. I'll tell you what, one ring and you're in. Right. Awesome. <laughs> but I'll call you instead. I'll wait an hour. I don't that's, care. That's the difference. <laughs> but um, you were talking earlier about, uh, you know, Valentine's Day, go out to a bar and pick up some chicks because they're all horny or whatever. No, no, I didn't say it's because they're all horny. Or they want something. They're sad. Because they don't have anybody? Because nobody took them out to dinner. Nobody got them roses. Nobody got them candy. Nobody got them a Vermont teddy bear. <laughs> they're I'm, sad. I'm nobody sent them though. a pajama gram. But I'm not 21. Right. I just I just turned 20. And I moved out here. And I don't out really here. know anybody. I, by the way, rule I didn't num- say New York, by the way. Rule number right. one. Rule number one. If you're going to be living here in in Los Angeles, or actually, I see you're in Chino, not actually Los Angeles. But if you're going to live in Southern California, stop calling it out here, <laughs> okay? Because it's just here. Yes. Out here implies that you're going to go back there someday. Oh, I'm not going back there. So right. I live in Southern California. Yeah, it's called here. 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 Yes. <laughs> How do I how do I find some of these girls you're talking about without going to a bar since I'm not 21? There are bars you can go to. Uh, examples are uh, those chain restaurants like TGI Fridays. Okay. Uh, uh, El Torito. Uh, anything called Bennigan's, Hooligans, Flanagan's, or any of those places. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. These are yeah. primarily restaurants that sell potato skins. And they have drinks at the bar, and you can order them from the waitress. Cool. So, uh, believe me, there are plenty of sad receptionists who are going to go to TGI Fridays <laughs> next Thursday. And they're going to be crying in their Long Island iced tea because nobody sent them any flowers. Yeah. These are the girls who are ready to do anything with the first guy who comes along. Yep. I've been saying this for years. I've... Just barely started listening to you, man. I just I love your show. I, I listen to it every day on the way home from work. It's great. Excellent. Thank you. I don't know. Do you even air in New York? Uh, no. no, no, we're not. We're, no, because because you know New York is full of ball busting bitches <laughs> who would make sure to keep this show off the air. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> you know, New York is a city where where people think the girls on Sex of the City were attractive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're really not though. I know. Well, yeah. most of the chicks in New York are not that attractive. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. No, no, I, I just came back. I know, I know. You I was I was in Midtown know. Manhattan. Don't tell me I would be surprised. I saw what's there. You're saying you went to Manhattan, you didn't see all the girls walking around the streets just during the day. Yeah, with the big hair and the gum popping and the attitude. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, but there's some of them that just... Drop dead gorgeous. Some, but Some. not enough. And, uh, and when they open their mouth and they sound like Fran Drescher, only meaner. <laughs> that's enough. It's that attitude, like you. Said. I'm out. The that's... ball busters. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So you're saying go to like an Applebee's or yeah, uh, oh yeah, Applebee's is Fridays good. Yeah, one like of those places. Also, and this suggestion came in the other day, a very good one: hotel bar. Nobody checks your ID when you walk into a hotel lobby. That's true. So you go to a really nice hotel bar in an area where there's like, a, a, you know, a lot of cougars and milfs. And a lot of the chicks also, by the way, uh, might be like um, business women who are on a business trip and they can't be with the person they love on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and they might do something because they're in another zip code. You know, what goes on the road stays on the road. Yeah, what goes in Las- what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. Yes. So there's plenty of places that don't check ID. Where you can legally sit down. Doesn't mean you can legally drink, but you can legally sit down with people who are consuming alcohol. Yep. That's cool. That's and good as long idea. as you're not buying alcohol, you'll be fine. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> Got to get myself a fake ID or something. No, no I, I'm trying to tell you, as long as you're not buying alcohol, you'll be fine. Now, if you want, if you want to get a fake ID, that's up to you. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, you have access to women at bars. Mm-hmm. So don't let that stop you. TGI Fridays is full. That, that is where every receptionist goes out. There or El Torito here in Southern California. Yeah, but wouldn't it be hard since, you know, they're kind of sitting at the bar and I can't really sit at a bar? Some of them are sitting at tables near the bar. And by the way, many times you can sit at the bar and as long as you're not buying alcohol, they don't even say a word. Hmm. It's true. You can go to the bar and order a ginger ale. My God, it looks like a real drink. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Good idea. 
Good idea. I mean, the, you want her to get drunk. You don't need you to get drunk. Nah. I like that. I'm definitely going to hit up TJ on Fridays next Thursday. Do it. I'm definitely doing that. And if I get some, I'm definitely calling you back. And oh, yeah. <laughs> or Macaroni Grill. Got one of those places around? Yep. Yeah. I, by the way, have you ever seen a piece of penne pasta with grill marks on it? No. Or like a, a, a string of spaghetti? No. Who grills macaroni? <laughs> well, macaroni grill's not good Italian food anyways. Really? No, nah, it's horrible. Because they don't know how to make it anywhere except New York, right? No, no, no. I, I make my stuff homemade. Oh, you do? And I make Are it you Italian? Good. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> well, no, most are. But did did you talk to Wapa Lapa Ding Dong out there on the phone before he uh, put you through? <laughs> I never called. This is the first time I've ever called a radio station before. Oh, yeah. Oh, is... no, Dino's Italian, too. Who? Our screener, Dino. Dino? Yeah. The guy you talked to. Oh, all right. I have a big old tattoo on my right side arm. Italian flag, American flag. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yes. Very, very nice. <laughs> Nobody here is going to be impressed. That's all right. <laughs> Except for Dino. Dino will be impressed. That's it. Um, and I don't even know if Dino will be impressed. he got a different tattoo, which oh, he'll he, tell you about. He should be proud. Yeah. He's Italian. Right. But uh, I will definitely check those places out next Thursday. All right. Well, good uh, Good luck on that. Oh, my God. Dumb, 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 dumb like it. one 800 tom my ex called me the other day. She was saying, oh, I'm having problems. I need to talk. It's been two years. She has two guys who she doesn't know who the, her baby father can be. And that would have been me, too, if it wasn't for Likus 101. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. Is that a question or a statement? What, hello? How many times are you going to say hello? Well, I'm not sure. I'm in Vegas. I'm not sure if you can hear me. So. Oh, you're all the way in Vegas. I'm all the way Should in Vegas. Should I shout a little louder? I'm from Orange County. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is my voice getting all the way out to Las Vegas? Yes. Wait, 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 pump up the transmitter so he can hear us. All the way out Las Vegas. Is the signal getting out? Can you hear me? Hello? Are we done? <laughs> I've never called in before, so... Hello? That's obvious. Oh. Oh, well, I'm also uh, finishing up work, too, so... Oh, you're working? Yeah, I'm, yeah I work for the gas company. Uh, <laughs> you've probably been done for an hour now. No. They, uh, we got a lot of work right now. What are you doing for the gas company right now? Uh, checking meters and turning some meters off. From people who didn't pay bills? No, uh, we don't do that after 5 o'clock. Oh, so what do you do after 5 o'clock? Well, people that move out or move in, we just get a re uh, reading of the meter so that, you know, a new person can start paying a bill. So you're out there getting meter readings right now? Right now. I just turned one dark. off because I guess evidently somebody moved out. And my friend that's doing Southwest Gas, he's the one that told me to call you guys, or he's like actually told me to listen to you. And he's like, hey, have you ever listened to this show? I'm like, no. And he goes, well, turn it on. So I turned it on, and he go, he told me it was about marriage and stuff. So, or really, oh, that sounds like rewarding work. What university did you get your degree from? I don't have a degree. Really? I was in the military. Oh. Rob, what can I do for you? Well, the reason why I'm calling is because, like I said, my friend told me you guys were talking about relationships, and I haven't talked to, on the phone or in person, my so-called girlfriend in over two weeks, and 
I'm working in the area where she lives. So I drove by her house, and I sent her a text message because that's what we've been doing, not talking on the phone, and she didn't respond. So five minutes, and I was parked right outside her house. So I called her, and I said, where are you? And she's like, you know, I'm in the house. I'm like, so anyways, to make a long story short, she said that her and her mom and her daughters are arguing, and I go, well, can you at least come out and say hi? And she's like, she goes, I'm kind of busy, I'm arguing. And I'm like, okay. Who is so, she arguing with? She's arguing. She, her mom's from Portugal, so. Oh, that yeah, seems, they love to argue in Portugal. Yeah, and that seems like, and my, you know, girlfriend. No she wonder says, she's arguing with her mom. Yeah, and she's living at home with her mom. She doesn't have any other family but her mom and her dad. Wait, let me so, ask you a question. How old is she? 32. And she's living at home with her mom. Would you say that's a red flag? Yeah, in a sense. I mean, in a sense. Well, she's trying to get caught off on bills, but when I ask yeah, her, but, but if somebody uh, has all those bills at thirty-two, isn't that a red flag? Well, yes, it's a combination of that, and she says that she doesn't. She wants her daughter to be close to the only family she's got, but yet they're always arguing. So, how close do you want to be? Well, here's another question for you, Rob. You are new to the show, but your friend probably knows this. Why are you dating a single mother? I'm new to the show, so... Yeah, well, we don't uh, recommend that. Well, I'm 40 years old, so I don't want any more kids. My youngest is 14, so... But you don't have to have any kids. Okay. So then where do you find women that don't just want you for your money around Vegas? Well... I'm from Orange County, Women so. want... Oh, yeah, and, and the, the Real Housewives of Orange County, they don't want your money, do they? <laughs> well... Probably almost as much as Vegas. All right. Except for they're all from Orange. The, the, the the, but Orange the, but the, you don't understand. The gold diggers are the easiest ones to get because gold diggers will give it up in hopes of, like, they, they give it away as, like, an investment. Like, have you ever gotten a free sample of, I don't know, in Vegas, they give away cigarettes on the street? You ever get, like, a free pack of, like, Winston's or Marlboro's? No, uh, you go to Costco and get freebies all the time. No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, cigarettes. You ever get some free cigarettes? No, because I don't smoke. Do they ever, don't be a brick, ever walk by a guy handing out free cigarettes? Yes. Yes. Why do they give you free cigarettes? Because they want you to buy a whole pack. Right. Right? Why do women, why do gold diggers give up sex so easily? Because they want. Because they're trying to sell you the whole product. Right. They want you to buy the product. So they give you a free sample. Okay. Right? It's like right. test driving a Maserati. You don't have to buy a Maserati. You can just keep taking test drives. That's true. You don't have to buy a car. You can lease it. True. Right? right? So the idea is gold diggers are the perfect victims. First of all, they deserve to be victims. They deserve to be victimized because all they want is your money. And they'll give you sex thinking that you're going to give it up. Right. So uh, take the sex. And then when they start to put the hammer down, they say, well, that's it. I'm not going to see you again. It's like, great. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I don't want to see you again anyway, you goddamn gold digger. Get out of here. Okay. Right? I guess I've just been doing it the wrong way. Why do you avoid gold diggers? Well, because, you know, I, I went on a date when I moved there. And Your mouth were on the air. Oh, a piece of crap. And so she... Things were great. We went to the forum shops. We were holding hands, and, you know, I thought maybe I was going to get somewhere, and she's like, I'll call you, and she never talked to me again, so. Wait a minute. First of all, why is she seeing your car? Because we met at a place to have dinner, and when I pulled in, I figured I'd pull in towards the end of the parking lot, and she happened to be right in front of me when I got out of my car. Okay. Okay. A bad... <laughs> well, then fine. Then you could always tell her that you have a loaner car while you're waiting for your Lexus to be fixed. That's true. <laughs> be creative. And when you take her to your crappy apartment, you tell her that uh, you're there while your house is being renovated. Oh, never thought of it that way. You say whatever you have to say. They're gold diggers. Yeah, because they're not... Real into you for you anyways, right? Well, what do you care? They have a vagina, 
and they're willing to give you a free sample. That's true. So okay. you have to master the art of, of lying. And because yep. they're gold diggers, they deserve exactly what they're going to get. That's true. You know what I say? If you want to date a doctor, poof, call me Dr. Shapiro. <laughs> okay. That helps out a lot. That's what you do. You just got to play You don't game. tell these chicks you work for the gas company, do you? No. What do you tell them you do? Uh, real estate investor. That's good. That's a good thing to tell them. You can print up phony business cards even better. Never thought of it like that. That's right. I guess that's why I'm calling you, right? It's that simple. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so... Uh, <coughs> yes. So, what's that? No, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, so in order to get a... Um, I was listening to the last caller to get it, just get something on uh, Valentine's Day. Just go to any bar or, you know. Yes. I, now, in uh, Vegas, that doesn't mean go to any bar at, at a casino. That means go to bars where the locals hang out. Okay. Which it, is a lot of the small casinos around here that are, like, Green Valley has one and and stuff like that where the locals hang out at. Yeah. They don't have to go to the street. But strip. don't go to the ones with these women who uh, who look like one-armed bandits themselves, okay? Right. Hang out. You want to go where hot chicks hang out, places where people hook up. Okay. Because on Valentine's Day, all the chicks were able to sucker guys into taking them out to dinner and buying them roses. They're not going to be there that night. The ones who are left are... <laughs> they're going to do something they're going to regret the rest of their lives. Shouldn't they be doing it with you? That's true. So you have to figure out which bar in your area is the one where people hook up the most. The night to go is Valentine's night. Okay. Right? Good idea. Right? Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for the help. Rob, thank you. Tom like is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Man, you know, you need to exterminate this broad on the line, man, because all I'm hearing is, me, 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 oh, we're on our pro, man. She's the kind of chick that you talk about all the time, man. It's the Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood, Lancaster 101 at one 800 800 tom I am your professor. Time is running out. You want to get in before Valentine's Day, 1-800-5800-866. Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing great. Just wanted to throw you a vink. for a great night last night. Had a girl, uh, went to a date. She wanted to go to La Scala in Beverly Hills. Told her it was against Tom rules after about 10 minutes of fighting with her uh, about how you're a jerk and such and, uh, I shouldn't be listening to you. Took her to Korean Barbecue, spent 30 bucks and took her home. And, and I'll bet you nailed her too, right? What was that? Did you nail her? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it's nice like those. I've only been listening to you for a few months now, but you know, I, 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 I must say I get more ass than I told it to you now so I've been listening to you. Uh, it's 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 just amazing. They they, yeah. they 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 fight with you, and then suddenly it's like yeah, they just they collapse like a house of cards. I truly respect you more uh, as a man if you listen to your show. So I think just by letting them know that you they, that you listen to them, that you that they that I listen to you, I think it helps out even more. Well, that's good. For a man, because they know that you they know what you're all about. Right. You, know, you don't have, you don't have to front anything. Right. You don't have to pretend you're interested in what they have to say or. Pretend you're going to spend a thousand dollars. Right, right. Love it. And, you know, I, I make I make a decent living. You know, I'm not rich by any means, but you know, I'm a full time student. I also have a part time job. I make my own decent living with. But you know, everything uh, everything's well, and you know, they know what I make, and you know, they know they're only going to get forty bucks out of me for a date. I totally love it. 
So I just want to thank uh, thank you again. Take me out, so. uh, Do what now? Can you take me out, Kobe style? Oh, Kobe style. I couldn't hear you. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Stacy on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Okay, I am calling in regards to some of the comments that you make to these poor men that call your station. I feel. Why do you call them. them poor men? Why? Why would you say them? I feel sorry for them. They're gonna. They're gonna be about sixty, seventy years old someday, and they're gonna be all alone, stinky as hell, and nobody's gonna want them because. The time that they could have gotten someone to be with, to love them and take care of them, they did. They went and they screwed well, around. Well, first of all, there's no guarantee. If you've looked at the divorce rate, there is no guarantee that anyone's going to be with you when you're old. A one out of every two people who gets married gets divorced. Yeah, but there's more chances of you. I mean, you don't have to get married. You can live with someone. But, I mean, to just be screwing the whole world and then at the end you stay like a dog. I'm tell I am telling you, first of all, if guys, instead of spending money on women, saved and invested their money, they can hire the best you know, nurses, the, the best assisted living facilities, whatever, when they get older. But what's the point? If you you got to pay them. It's the same thing. They're, I mean, you're going to pay them. Yeah, but the point is, but then we wouldn't have to pay you. You see, that's what I'm talking about. But, but it's not paying. I mean, you guys are... Yes, actually, it is. We have to yeah. pay you. We have to pay you. But you're getting, you're getting taken care of. You're going to be taken care of. You're not getting anything for free. You're you're getting... But I again, I don't want I don't want to pay you, okay? Uh, if I... You have to pay a nurse that's not going to give you money. I am not going to pay. I am not going to pay for sex. I'm just not going to do it. But you'd rather pay a nurse then. Someone that's not even going to take... I would rather people. pay a nurse who's at the top of her profession, top dollar, than to pay it to you. You know what? Uh, that sucks because men, when they're old, they're not going to have someone that really loves them, that stays with them. They're going to be uh, old. Darling, we have no guarantee now. that you're going to love us. We have no smell. guarantee that smell. you're going to love us. Old men smell. Old huh? men smell. Well, see, but darling, the, the, woman, the, the man that you claim you're falling in love with, he's going to smell too. And, and well, at least you're going to put up with it because you love them. But when you oh, you're going to put up with it. You see, this is why I wouldn't want to give you a penny because that's your attitude. Well, that's cool. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, Good. you wouldn't, but a lot of people would. I mean, trust me. They're on that fools. One. And believe me, I'm going to I'm going to keep and working I, at and this. They do. And they I am going to keep working at this the until ball, man, ball there's harder. no man out there who will want to give you anything. I'm going to keep trust working me. at this. Trust me, not even old men, young guys, young guys, even younger than me. 20-year-olds, 19-year-olds, I mean, they'll do anything that I tell them to do. Oh, anything. there you go. And you're exactly the kind of woman we're trying to avoid here. No, no, no. Yes, no, yes, no. yes. Yes, yes, I, yes. I no, they get my... Yes, they get yes, me. yes. Yes, 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 yes. And another thing, Tom, another thing. Okay, oh, also the last time you said... Uh, boy, boy, well, boy, I'd love having you for the rest of my life to have to listen to. Oh, my. Uh, okay, sixty oh. percent of the population is vaginas. You said you said that before. Yes. Uh, men don't have to. Well, right. You know if we don't get your, you know, if we don't get your vagina, another one's coming along in ten minutes. They're like buses. Okay. Well, you know what? Sixty percent of, of of the population is women, but how many of that percentage are ugly? So, are you men out there? That I don't know. We'll start with you. How many does that leave? I'm not ugly. I'm not ugly. Oh yeah. I swear. I'm sure not you're not. Ugly. Sure I'm you're not. not. I'm not. I'm sure not. Sure you're not. You got a big huh. fat butt. I can tell just by the sound of your voice. Oh my god, that's because I'm Hispanic. I speak like this because I'm Hispanic. I don't know it's if you're Hispanic accent. or not. I have no idea what you are. I'm Mexican. Well, I'm letting you know I'm Mexican. I'm oh. very proud of being Mexican. I'm oh, I, do you have Mexican a big woman. fat butt? No, I don't. It's nice. It's perfect. Yeah. How tall are you? Yeah. Five three. How much do you weigh? One hundred thirty-five. Case closed. She's oh, a piggy, I don't care, piggy. I don't care what you say. I have a butt. I have everything a girl needs to you're, have. You're a big, fat one. Hang on a second here. Uh, Kimberly, what did you want to say to Stacy? I wanted to say, Tom, that I always tell guys that hit on me that I'm not interested in, that, you know, I can tell they're pussies. I ask them, do you listen to Tom Likas? I think you need to listen to Tom Likas. I really do. I try to give them advice to listen to you. So I hate hearing these girls who call in and they're yelling in the radio and they're telling you how horrible and how, you know, miserable. I never said he was horrible. Out. I never said he was horrible. I never said oh, he was I'm horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. 
And so the, just don't confuse yourself. All that okay. I said was that he said 60% of the women are vaginas. And I'm like, yeah, and 60% of those women, half of them are butt ugly. I mean, they're ugly. So if a man wants to go on to the next one, if he has a good woman, a good-looking woman and everything, get to But, honey, together, the way that you're talking nasty, right now, no man wants to be nasty, with you. Go for someone that's nasty. Oh, my God. I mean, it's men, out there, you guys are going to stay with a piece of crap. Seriously, yeah. I've seen it. It's so nasty. I mean, you should stay with an ugly woman. I don't want to marry a girl like you anyway, either. If Maybe I you're, you're, probably you're probably ugly. You know what? You're probably ugly. I'm sorry. You're probably oh, ugly. Well. Yeah, you're ugly. You have a little stuff. Yeah, you. you must be psychic or something. But personally, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't see why men want to get married either. I think men who want to get married are pussies, frankly. I respect men who know what they want. They want to keep their money. If I had a lot of money and I was a man... I'd want to keep my money, too. Yeah, and then when you're old and stinky, nobody's going to want you. You're going to be crushed. Obviously, I have confidence. You have I don't, no love. I'm not you old have no and love. stinky. You have no love. You have no love. I mean, that's sad. Nobody's going to no take you for you. Nobody's yeah. going to take you for you. By the way, does your, grandfather stink? Really? Does, your does your grandfather you're stink? I'm cu- does your grandfather stink? I'm curious. <laughs> Everybody, every old man, every old man. So your grandfather, your grandfather stinks. I worked at a medical office. Old people. Does your grandfather stink? I work at a medical office. Probably Does me, your grand... Me. We're not talking about the medical office. He's dead. Your gra- he's, he's dead. dead. He's well, but he stinks even more. And, and your father? What about your father? Does he stink? No, he's not old. He's only 50 years old. He barely turned 50. Oh. Who cares, chick? What are you talking about? Who yeah, cares? Sir. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, I mean... If that's Imagine if you had to why? marry this and then listen to it for the rest of I your life. I would kill her. Can you see? Her. Can you see why we wouldn't want to get married, Kimberly? Can you uh, see? That's why, that's why yeah, I listen to you. I don't matter. even want to get married. Matter. I'm with a man who's just upset like because I'm saying the truth. I respect him. I am saying the truth. I am saying the truth. Well, you know what, Tom? Regardless, I do like your show. I already made the statement that I needed to make, and I hope you have a nice day. So you ran out of gas. All right, darling. All right, dear. Thank you so much. Why don't I want to be married? Exhibit A. Exhibit A-H-O-L-E. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Nick on the Tom Likas show. What's up, Tom? Is Nick. I know, I just said that. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, first time, long time. I uh, really love your show, man. Um, hey, I had a question real quick. Now, uh, I'm married. Um, you know, uh, for why? Why did you do that? Ah, uh, you know, I was young. But so. you're not that much older. I see on the screen here you're 25, and yeah. you've been married three years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're not that much older. Hey, we're on the air. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What makes you think you can say that word on the air? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, uh, you know, it happened that uh, the first time, you know, the first time she got pregnant, three months went by quick, so it was too late for me to do an abortion. Like, she was pregnant before, the first time she got pregnant. So yeah, you got I married totally... to her before you because you knocked her up. Right, right. I see, but why, yeah. you didn't have to get married. You could have just, you know, paid the yeah. price. Right. Now you you're know, paying a lot more than you would have been paying had you just paid your child support. Right. So this was a bad idea, Nick. Yeah, yeah. You know, and actually last night we we did have a little spat. You know, and she actually went online and checked it up to see how much the divorce cost was, and it wasn't that bad. You know, she she looked it up and she gave me a quick quote. She's like, "Hey, hey. <laughs> ne- next time you're done, pal." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, pal, I got a dirty mouth, but I control myself when I'm on the air. You're on a federally licensed broadcast facility. Sorry. Regulated by the Federal Communications Commission. Right. You can't say words like that. Are you stupid or what is it? I'm sorry. It's a little bit of both, actually. Yeah, (laughs) I know. um, Yeah, so uh, what I was trying to get at, you know, because I'm all married and everything, um... I'm going to be, uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I was trying to see what kind of recommendations you're working Get a money. divorce and be done with it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I know. Definitely. So do it. Well, I mean, see, that's the thing. Like, she's on a, on a whole trip about, oh, I'm, I'm so in love, and, you know. She doesn't have to agree. Get the goddamn divorce, for Christ's sake. The Tom Likas Show.